Okay, for some reason, my internet is, it says that it's really sketchy right now, which I don't know why, because it's perfectly clear out tonight. So I've made Andrea a co-host, and so if I freeze up, then she'll take over and start talking, and it will be awesome. Okay, so I have everyone, I think I have everyone muted. So we're excited you guys are on. It is December 30th, and I got my sparkly earrings on, and now Andrea's frozen. So I hope I'm, am I frozen? Somebody boxer me. Can you hear me? Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. You're good. Because okay. everybody froze up. So I'm um, just, you know what, I'll leave my boxer on, Andrea, and if, um, if I freeze up, just shoot me a boxer, and I'll know you're taking over. Okay, I opened it up. Okay, so we're very excited, you guys. Andrea and I have been working um, on all this stuff that we're officially launching um, a week from tonight on January 6th, which is the night of our auction, and we're officially launching it that night, but what we're doing is, and y'all have all frozen again, so just let me know if you can't hear me. Um, so what we're doing is we are revamping everything. It's going to be so awesome, just so awesome. So um, let me just box her, Andrea. Hey, Andrea, let me know if I'm if you still hear me. Okay, so I wanted to let you guys know that we're going to continue things the same until January fifth. So MK Box work the same, recognition works the same, everything works the same, and everyone is frozen. Okay, well, I don't know why you're so good, but I'll just trust Andrea's boxers. Okay, because <clears throat> it's kind of weird looking at all of y'all, because <laughs> you're like frozen. <laughs> you Y'all have cute faces, though. Let me see. Amy's laughing. Joan's smiling. Zulema looks perfect. What else is new? Um, yeah, okay. Dee's moving now, so that's good. But Andrea, you got this really cute look on your face. All right, so I wanted to let you guys know that um, we are going to keep everything the same until um, January 5th. And so what we're doing is we're going to give y'all um, some fun things to think about tonight. So, okay, you hear me fine. It keeps kicking me out. Okay. So what I want you guys to do, we're all having internet problems. I'm not sure why. But um, what I want you guys to do is I want you to put it on your calendar that in the next few days when you're counting your end of the year inventory, which Andrea is going to talk about that, and you're kind of wrapping up your mid-year and your end of the fiscal year, that you go on weekly accomplishment sheet and you make sure that you are completely caught up July through December. And it's actually going to go through January 5th. That's where our mid-year is going to end. So it might be a little confusing to you, so our December recognition will end on January 5th. Our mid-year recognition will end on January 5th. Everything for the auction, um, June through December, will actually end on January 5th. So give me a thumbs up if y'all understand that. Okay, the only person moving is D. Okay, so everything is gonna end January 5th. December recognition, and mid-year recognition, okay? So we're good there, we're good there. Um, and we'll, we'll go through that again, just so that you understand. So what we decided to do was for mid-year recognition purposes, um, it is, <clears throat> okay, for mid-year recognition purposes, we are going to allow you to play catch up. Um, we are only gonna do this once this year, it's kind of giving you a grace period. You may have missed a week here or there with your weekly accomplishment sheets, with your faces, with your sales, with whatever, whatever you're doing on your weekly accomplishments. So what it will do is when you do your end of year, when you do your December 31st, which I'm doing mine through January 5th, just because it's easier. Um, that's how the weekly accomplishment sheets go is sun through Sunday. Um, when I finish my fiscal year, Okay, I'm going to look at my weekly accomplishments since July 1st, and I'm going to make sure the numbers align. And if you missed a week or, you know, the, you look at the numbers and you say, well, according to weekly accomplishment, I've only sold $1,750 this year, but I know I've sold $2,040. You can go on weekly accomplishment anytime this week by January 5th and you can update your numbers. 
and that's for mid-year recognition. And then of course, which rolls into the end of the year recognition on June 30th for our seminar year queens. Okay. Repeat. Huh? Repeat. You froze. So repeat that about the January 5th. Just repeat that last bit. Okay. So you have from tonight until January 5th to completely catch up your weekly accomplishment sheets. Because see guys, you're going to have to do your end of the year numbers for the fiscal year. There's two things we're dealing with here. Tax wise and federal government wise, it's January through December. Mary Kay's seminar year is July 1st through June 30th. So what you'll do is you'll go on Mary Kay in touch. You'll look at how much you've put in for your weekly accomplishments and you'll make sure the numbers align July 1st through December 30th with 31st, which I'm actually saying is January 5th because the way the weeks run, the last week officially in 2019 will end January 5th. If you want to make it have ended yesterday, that's perfectly fine with me. So let's say Andrea had done, um, let's say she started her business in October and according to her weekly accomplishment sheets, she has done $2,350 in sales. Okay. And that's the number I have. And she's doing her end of the year inventory and she's adding up all her sales and she's like, Oh my goodness, I missed a week. And it was a thousand dollar week. Yeah, Andrea's voice changes to Minnie Mouse. Okay. So Minnie Mouse Andrea goes on weekly accomplishment sheets sometime this week. And she puts in that extra thousand dollar week. And we are going to allow her to do that. This is your mid year grace period. So any sales you've done since July 1st, make sure that number matches on your weekly accomplishments. And if it doesn't, you need to go ahead and do your weekly accomplishments. Now, if you're like, I have no idea how much I've submitted so far. It is under your weekly accomplishment sheets. Okay. And then we are going to do next Monday, we're going to do mid year recognition. And if the number that we give does not align with what you have, then that would be a great opportunity for you to contact me. Don't bug Andrea, contact Joanna. Okay. If you're in Andrea's unit, contact both of us <laughs> and let me know what happened. Like, let's say Elisa, I say she did $9,500 in sales since July 1st, and she calls me and says, actually, I did $11,400. Then we're going to make that adjustment. You are going to be given a grace period, okay, to catch up with all your sales. Because remember, guys, on June 30th, we shut it down, and we figure out who our retail queens are. And that's really super special because you get lots of prizes and recognition and all that. And we also want to make sure your numbers are correct. We want to make sure that, that what we have and what you have aligns. And Andrea, again, is going to do a little bit of training on wrapping up your uh, fiscal year in a couple of minutes. So I want to make sure those numbers align. If I have completely confused you, just shoot me a text, a boxer, or call me tonight or tomorrow, and I will walk you through it. If you don't know what your numbers are, um, I can pull it up and tell you what I have and we can go from there. Okay, because some of y'all have missed some weeks. I know you've missed some weeks and I want to be able to give you that grace period. Okay, one thing that we are going to continue is next week we are going to continue the post Monday Night Live with 2020 vision because we're focused, we're free, and we're fabulous. I wonder why she keeps saying that. Um, we are going to continue the marketing call. So invite people to be on. Everybody's looking for something new in the new year. And one of the things that we want to do with you guys is we want to welcome you back into Mary Kay as of a week from tonight, as if you're a brand new consultant as well. Do you sometimes wish you could go back and do things differently knowing what you know? How many of y'all will have things that you would change? How many of you have things that you would tweak a little bit, okay? 
So if you could go back, knowing what you know and start over, what would you do differently? Be thinking about that. So first thing I would do is I would start inviting people to be on that marketing call after our Zoom video. Okay, it's immediately the hour after. You do have to RSVP before we do this meeting so that Andrea and I are prepared and we can work our schedules accordingly. Okay, we have our MK Bucks auction is a week from tonight. Your MK Bucks forms, your forms since the last auction, the whole kit and caboodle, okay? The end of September, October, no, no, it was, um, Wait a minute, what was it? October, the first week in October, all the way through um, the end of December. October, November, December. Have y'all got those tracking sheets? Let me show you what it looks like. This is your tracking sheet. Go on Facebook, figure it out. There you go, look at Joan. Joan, you are so together. Oh, you blow me away, girlfriend. So you'll have one of these for October, one for November, and one for December. And then print off an extra one and combine all of it. Okay? And then what you do is on January 5th, something else to do by January 5th, is you text me, scan it to me, whatever, send this to me so I know how many bucks everybody has and we'll have our auction. Y'all excited about the auction? Yeah? Who all got good stuff in the last auction? Good stuff, yay, okay. We've got even better stuff this time, okay. So, um, also, I know it's a lot of sheets and we're actually changing this, so we're gonna be combining things. Your star bar sheet is also due by January 3rd. So, put in your notes, turn this in, turn in your MK box, turn in anything, okay? And make sure you catch up on your weekly accomplishment. Star bars, MK bucks, weekly accomplishments. Make that your goal this week. To catch up on all of that and have it all filled out and ready to go. It looks like Dee's about to go to, on a trip to Alaska. Okay. <clears throat> For those of you who can't see her, she's all bundled up. <laughs> it's too funny. Okay. Uh, let me, hang on. Somebody's trying to get on and they can't get on. So let me send them and tell them we are on. Okay, good. Okay, um, peek into pink. It's still there, guys. Use it. I was gonna say use it or lose it, but I'm keeping it there. All right, so I wanna go through our recognition. So this is where you will get out your, um, how cute, what is that? That is so stinking cute. Um, this is where you will get out your MK Buck sheet. And um, this is really funny because I accidentally printed it on this little tiny piece of paper, so it's all at an angle. So we'll just have to see if I, if I got it all right. It's really kind of crazy looking. All right, these are the people who, um, Andrea, I think I'm gonna have to reprint this because I'm missing like a whole page. Hang on, I've got that, I've got that. Yeah, it, it printed it really weird. Let me go through, Andrea. You, Andrea, before I get into recognition, why don't you talk about end of year inventory and let me reprint this real quick. Okay, and you gave me controls? You have control. Great. Yay, everybody. Happy <laughs> New Year. I know it's hard to listen to all those numbers and sheets and everything, so sometimes we just got to have a shock. You know, Tony Robbins, who I... Um, I hired as a coach when we did half million. One of the things he talks a lot about is you got to shake you got to shake up your state. You got to change your state. And everybody is an energetic field. And so sometimes you just got to shake it up. And then in the middle of something, um, I actually did this to the directors years ago. Uh, we would just be talking, and some people were sort of, you know, complaining a little bit about what wasn't going well, and we would just go chimichanga. And it was like, you get shocked, but you know what? It changes your shape, your state. And if you aren't in a state of gratitude and excitement and a vision, you got to, you got to find a way. And the best thing is to be on these calls. So woo woo to you guys for being on the calls. If you're not plugging in, like 
I redid my office, like cleaning and just getting things put away. If you don't plug in to the source, which ultimately every morning you should be spending time with your um, creator. And of course, um, I think that's God. So that's who I spend time with. But also you got to plug into your director. So kudos to all of you who are checking in on Facebook, checking in, you're here live. So excited for the new year. So excited. We've got Consuela, who's my brand new. She's on live. We've got Dee and Christine, who are some of my team members. So I'm going to do a shout out to them because I get to. Um, but let me tell you some tips. And man, I'm so proud of Amy and Joan are always on. And Z Zalima, you have to do a makeup lesson one day. I mean, my gosh, you are just like fabulous. And Alyssa, thanks for your um, tips when you had a thousand dollar day or whatever that hot day was for you. But, um, and Alice is kicking it there in North Carolina. I know I'm forgetting some people, but I'm so excited for everybody. Let me tell you some tips right now. Do your end of year inventory. And it's very important that you don't get too carried away um, as your orders come in for July, uh, for January, because at the, um, when you're doing your taxes and you're doing your W, sorry, I'm getting it numbers wrong. You're doing your 10, no, no, it's schedule C. That's what it's called. When you're doing your schedule C, forgive me. You have to have beginning inventory, ending inventory. And so the difference is going to be what you sold. So that's what the IRS is looking for you to then you know, you're going to pay taxes on the higher amount you sold. So what you're going to do with that is then have all of your expenses. So you want to have a, as low of, of a number as possible for that end of year. So take what you need for your travel bags. Now, delete your, <laughs> or delete it from your current inventory so that you have a, a smallest number as possible. And this is why you want to sell your butt off in the next 24 hours. If you are not at least getting the December to remember active order prize, which is that gorgeous bling bracelet for a 225 wholesale order. We don't normally do that. You guys, we want everyone to get their products in the month of December to have that 225 wholesale. And that is the beautiful bracelet that you're going to earn. Now, when you bump it up and you're at the 600 level, whoo, whoo, you get the great earrings from Mary Kay. And then higher than that at the thousand level, you're going to have the tote collection. And let's be honest, if you do not have the inventory you need for the parties that you're setting as a goal right now for January, you want to order it. The IRS is not counting the orders in December. So if you notice, Mary Kay only goes from January through November for your wholesale orders. And why do they do that? Because it is, um, it's just easier for their counting. So the IRS will basically only count towards uh, the end of November. So it is um, important for you to do your own inventory, but I do tell, tell everybody you're going to get a statement from Mary Kay and it'll only show January through November. So you're going to do an end of your inventory. It won't be hard if you're brand new. And if you're using the MyMK, oh my gosh, Consuela, you can just scan your box and it goes right into your app and it tells everything that you currently have on your shelf. It's awesome. awesome. But if you are going to um, take those products for your own family, um, for your demos, you want to do it today. The other thing you want to do um, is track your end mileage because as you start to write off your mileage for your Mary Kay business, which is a huge opportunity when you are an in-home my husband's trying to call me and he knows better. Um, <laughs> then of course you have more um, proof. And I would say if you just are starting, get a teeny, go to the dollar store. Uh, you don't even have to have a fancy one, but I got a little teeny notebook at the dollar store. And then every single time I'm driving to do Mary Kay, I'm documenting my starting mileage, my ending mileage, and then the reason for that travel. So that is important because if you aren't backing up your numbers, then um, if you ever were audited, it would not be a good thing. So I teach everybody, there's so much money that's going to come back to you as long as you watch your P's and Q's, but it's all legal. It is the best thing about being um, an entrepreneur in our industry because you have these options. Did I miss anything there? No, that was awesome. That was awesome. Now, you guys, I know that was a lot of information fast. 
but you can go to Mary Kay in touch and there are some tips and all on the taxes and all that, but don't be afraid of it. Do not be afraid of it. It's just not that hard. The main thing is <clears throat> count your inventory. And you know, an easy way of doing it is um, just to print off the order form or take an order form um, from a, a Plaz magazine when they used to put them in there, but print off an order form from Mary Kay and just use tally marks. I mean, just caveman tally marks. Um, for years before we had computers, the way I did my inventory was I took an order form, I laminated it every quarter and I used tally marks. And as I sold something, I just took my finger and swiped it away. <laughs> and then as orders came in, I would add more tally marks. So just so simple. And I had it um, inside the closet where, there you go, Andrea's got one. I had it inside the um, closet where I kept all my inventory and I had it blown up and, you know, laminated it and just used my thumb to erase the tally marks. <laughs> and then, hey, you guys, save this in your file because even if you're using your computer, you want to have some of oh these God. in case you miss something. Like I had a basket for Christmas stuff. So if I was doing my inventory and forgot that I still had wrapped gifts that I just didn't sell, then I would have missed some of those. So you want to make sure that you um, just keep it. Okay. And I think it's fun to have um, maybe one of your best customers help you count your inventory. You know, they tell you how many you have and you do your little tally marks or you count it and then you just pay them with a free lipstick and then do marketing with them. Whatever it takes. Okay. Whatever it takes. All right. Now I'm ready for recognition because I didn't print it off on a little mini piece of paper. So, so excited. Um, the, this is everybody who has won the jewelry so far in December. Um, Valerie Saceda. Um, Jamie Bulliard, who has done actually over a thousand wholesales, so she earned the red bag collection. Amy Paul, Zulema Saceda, who also earned the red bag collection. So excited about you guys. Alice Flowers, guess what? Red bag collection. I know, I can't wait to order them. Francine Eisenman. Red bag collection. So excited. Um, Consuela, is it Consuelo Crespo? Crespo. Yes. Okay. Hola. Como esta? You and Zulema can talk all day long. Okay. Um, but you, she is also a jewelry winner. Um, Jane Borden from Linda Mead's unit earned the red bag collection so excited um from sharice edwards unit vicky starwall is a, has earned the jewelry from paula langworthy's unit sayonara and elizame campos has also i don't have to learn these names i have also earned the jewelry and then um your directors uh, myself and paula have both earned the jewelry i think andrea's earned it andrea's always earned it and then I'm about to do my order. I'm about to do your order. Okay, so those, all those people earn their jewelry, so excited. Um, everybody who earned their star, so remember, with your star, you get MK bucks, and you gotta turn this in, okay? Because you actually get another star for your star bar. And since the company's only doing milestone star consultant ladder, you wanna turn this in. Just a really quick caveat before I um, talk about our star consultants that finished on December 15th. I do wanna let you guys know that one of the policies that Andrea and I are having in the new year is if you don't turn in your paperwork, if you don't turn in your prize voucher, you don't get your stuff. Now, if you just wanna to go to joannashipe.com and look under recognition or not recognition under resources and just download the voucher, just the voucher. You could do one voucher and say, I did this much to earn my stars. I did this much to earn my, you know, my MK bucks. You could just turn it in that way. And that's super simple. So that's another way of turning in your paperwork. And it literally, when you fill it out, you click on it and it comes straight to me. So as we go into this new year with 2020 vision and we are focused and we're free and we're fabulous, I just want you guys to remember we are simplifying, simplifying, simplifying.
everything in the future, everything will just be a voucher. Are y'all excited? You, all you gotta do is fill it out and click a button and it'll come to myself or it'll go to um, Terry Skill if that's your director or it'll go to the awesome and amazing Andrea Zajac. Are y'all like so excited that we're gonna have these systems all set up for you? How easy will that be? Okay, keep it simple, sweetie. All right, so our star consultants. And if I don't call your name, it's because I didn't have your numbers. So just raise your hand and tell me what star you were. Um, we have oh, Vicki Starwalt and Sayonara Boucher. I don't know what level they were, but they were both stars. Um, Sapphires, myself, Francine Eisenman, Kathy Crawford, Marcia Stevens, Maureen Coger and Alice Flowers, all Sapphire Stars. Have y'all already gotten your email from the company saying, order your prize, order your prize, order your prize? Okay, Rubies were Jamie Bulliard, Amy Pa, and Zulema Sauceda. And Zulema bumped up to Ruby because of her recruiting. Isn't that awesome? So order, oh look, Andrea's got the poster. Order your prize if you haven't already. All you do is you go to Mary Kay In Touch, you go under ordering and you click on order my prize. Diamond Star Consultant Linda Mead and Emerald Stars, two fabulous directors, Sharice Edwards and Andrea Zajac. Emerald Stars, you guys, they are kicking it. I know Andrea had her biggest holiday selling season ever. And I think it's good for you guys to know we are working. We are working and setting the tone for you and setting the bar. So don't ever feel like, well, she's not doing anything. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, not true. Okay, <clears throat> currently our star recruiters are Amy Paul and Marcia Stevens. Congratulations, guys, for being Red Jackets. And then our team leaders are Sarah Thompson, Jackie Eisenman, and Sarah Nara Boucher. So congratulations to them. And you know, that means they have at least five active on their team and they can go on target for their car. You guys can do it. It's awesome, let's do it. You could get this done by tomorrow. Just depends on if you wanna sleep or not. Okay, so MK Bucks, MK Bucks. I kinda keep my eye on Andrea here. MK Bucks, you get $5 for being on live. Is anybody here not on live? Anybody not feeling alive? Okay, oh, Zulema's being fed, I think, by her mother. I'm jealous. Okay, very good, that's cool. I'm, hey, I'm working, somebody feed me. I like the way she works, okay. And if you do some type of takeaway, if you're watching or listening to the recording and you get on our Facebook page and do some type of takeaway, from tonight's training and video, then you also get that $5 credit. Those consultants who turned in their weekly accomplishment sheets, Arlene, Christine, Zulema, Amy, Elisa, and Joan, they all get an extra five MK bucks. Y'all writing that down? Five MK bucks, five MK bucks. Okay, and by the way, if you play catch up this next week because you've missed weeks, that does not count for five bucks. Okay, the five bucks is every week you turn in your weekly accomplishment. That is just for mid-year recognition. Okay, our queen of the week of sales for the week ending December 22nd, okay, not this past week, but the week before is, and she gets 10 NK bucks, Amy Paul. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yay, Amy. Hey, Elisa, real quick, were you a star consultant? December 15th, yeah, you always are. Okay, I should have just put you down. Okay, weekly accomplishment turned in as of yesterday, okay, every Sunday. Again, Arlene, Christine, Zulema, Amy, Elisa, and Joan, give yourself another five bucks for turning it in. Even if you don't sell anything, go in, turn it in and put $1. I know what that means. That means you were with family or you had, I know we've had sickness in our family, all me. So that's fine, but it just shows that you're accountable and that you are disciplined. Discipline, dedication, determination. Because we are focused, we are free and we are fabulous. I know y'all are dying to know what that means. Okay. 
the queen uh, of the week in sales for the week ending 12 29 she gets 10 mk bucks who do you think it is who zulema yay she's like hey, what yeah zulema was our queen of sales for the week ending yesterday so you get an extra 10 mk bucks are y'all excited? Are y'all adding up your bucks? Add them up. Oh, look at her. She's got her book. I love it. Okay. Now, a week from tonight, we will look at the end of January 5th, the totals for December 1st through January 5th. And then you will get MK bucks before the auction. So make sure you have that tracking sheet. Make sure I have a copy of how many bucks you've earned October, November, and December. And I have, a, I have a sheet with your name and how many bucks you have, and we, we subtract off as you're bidding for stuff. And Consuela, don't worry, you are going to have MK bucks to spend. Don't worry about it. You've already got MK bucks. So you're going to have fun with this too. Don't be like, I missed two and a half months. That's okay. Okay? You're going to still get awesome, awesome, awesome opportunities to get good stuff because our girls are very generous. <clears throat> and if you do this little face like this, they sometimes say, okay, you can have it. Sometimes. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I am going to let Andrea take over, but first I just want to explain real quick. Oh, good. We're ahead of schedule. Real quick. What does focused, free, and fabulous mean? What do you think it means? I know. I know, little blondie. I'm not saying anything. What do you think it means? I want you to write that down. Oh, my dog just came in. I want you to write that down on a piece of paper. I want you to write focused, free. You took my beginning. Huh? You took my opening. That's because I'm so smart. All I need to be is blonde and I'll be perfect. Focused, free, and fabulous. Write that down and have space in between because you are about to have your mind blown. Okay, Dre Bag. Blow our minds. All right, all right, everybody repeat after me. I'm focused, free, and fabulous. 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 Be careful how you say it. I'm focused, free, and fabulous. Focus, free, and fabulous with my 2020 vision. One more time. I'm focused, free, and fabulous. I'm focused, free, and fabulous. My 2020 vision. Focus, free, and fabulous with my 2020 vision. Are y'all feeling a little bit fabulous? Free? Okay, now you're focused on great vision that you have for a new beginning, right? You are free because the past is the past, you guys. Yes, we have things that we can learn, but we can throw away the experience and keep the lesson. And we are fabulous because we are with the best company, the best sisterhood, the best group of women who, as my, my uh, friend, my, my daughter's boyfriend's dad he says get your mind right because we're surrounded by fabulous people who remind us to get our mind right to get our mind right each and every day because if you're not focused on where you're going you're going to live in your situation mm -hmm. and nothing great happens you don't become a person of influence and um you know it's the holidays I'm going to take 10 minutes, Joe. Sorry, but it's my moment. So I'm taking it. But I got to tell you, it's the holidays. And if you're not taking time to feed your brain, then I encourage you to start today. You've got to take care of you. Whether or not you're a mom, you have people in your life who are expecting you to show up. It might be your job. It might be your pet. It might be your family member that you're taking care of. We've got to understand if we're not full, we have nothing to give. And what kind of, not just legacy, but what do you want people to remember you by? When you are reading and growing who you are, you're reminding yourself each and every day, wow, I can be a better person for others, but I can also remember how Mary Kay, the woman, created a business opportunity where P&L is not profit and loss, it's people and love. And we make more of a difference in this world when we operate with how we can be a better team player than just a team member. 
so I want to I want to tell you about this book that was brought to my attention. It's called The Hard Hat, and I'm a reader. I've got like eight books stacked up. And one of the things that's so exciting about this book, my kids, my we're a lacrosse family. Um, my husband also went to Cornell for grad school, and it was at Cornell that this player. The book is all about this one player named George, who unfortunately was on the field. A ball hit him in the chest, and he died within five minutes of cardiac arrest. It was horrible, horrible. But the book is about what that one guy left as a legacy. I'm getting chicken skin. In 22 short years, he was a senior at college, this beautiful future ahead of him. And what did people say about him over and over? Well, you might want to read the book, but this is what I wanted to tell you about today. If you want to be a great teammate, then there's a lesson that he um, shared. If you want to be good, focus on making yourself better. If you want to be great, focus on making yourself and your team better. When you are with your team, identify who would benefit from your leadership, your help, your encouragement, and your time. Invite them to do something positive with you. Do this often and over time, you'll leave an incredible legacy. Now, I also had a quote that popped up. What if it wasn't all about you? As we start 2020, what if we really honestly looked at, we're a part of a team. Now, some people show up because we normally show up because initially we want to gain something from this business, this organization. But I'm going to ask you today to have a new vision, a new glasses, fresh 2020 vision that what if you playing, just playing full out in whatever capacity, it could be a small capacity, it could be a big capacity, but you're playing, you're not in hiding. You're not ignoring, you're just playing. And it might be a cheerful encouragement. It might be that you actually got the ball once in a while and we get to cheer you on because you got five seconds in the game. Or maybe you're a starter. It doesn't matter, you guys. You're part of this team. And when we can understand it ain't all about us, we can cheer others on, but know that that energy, that state, makes a huge difference in how we change the world. And I know that sounds crazy and corny that we're gonna change the world, but you know what, you guys? My children are watching their mother constantly get her mind right and, and watch if anything negative happens, I take responsibility. I don't start complaining and throwing cabinets. They're watching me, guess what? They're gonna influence thousands. We change the world by how we act and what this book said, and I think this will be where I leave it with this book, is one of the things that was his quote that, George, what an amazing guy. I cried so many times during this book. He said, one of the best lessons is, oh, so sorry, when WD is greater than WS, y'all want to know what WD is? It's not WD-40, which happens to be headquartered in my neighborhood. Is that cool? It's a little fact, a uh, neat fact. Okay, so WD. When well done is greater than well said. So why did I want to tell y'all that? Because y'all, it's time to rock your world. We got to shake things up. And sometimes it means just getting clear with what I want. What do you want? So there's a lot of things that went great this year and maybe some things that weren't that great. Or maybe you just want to like get a little bit greater. I want you to think of one thing just right now one thing that you can focus on. Now, one habit. Now, let me make sure I clarify. One Mary Kay habit. One. Just one. One. How many? One. Everybody, hold up one. Don't give me the wrong finger. One. Okay. One Mary Kay habit that between now and next Monday, you can focus on. Doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. Doesn't mean that every day you're going to do it, but you've had one thing that you're gonna focus on. Now write it down, write it down right now. Okay, that means you're not looking at me, Joan. Write it like pen. Woo, thank you. Okay, Joan is awesome. She's gonna be the first one to, to share it with us. One thing you guys, and here's the challenge that I'm giving you. I know Joe will give you one. At the end of this, uh, when Joe posts the Zoom video, 
I want you to be brave enough to put that one thing under our post so we can all cheer you on during the week. Just one thing. Everybody have their one thing? I have like 10, but anyway, I'm gonna focus on one. So one thing that's gonna get your mind right, that's gonna get your business right, that's gonna grow you. So our goal in all of what we're launching as of next week is that you go to Career Conference as an achiever earning the luncheon. Walking on stage, how do you earn the luncheon? You're doing a $600 order every month because you're selling. You also have a new qualified recruit or more and getting into that red jacket. All you have to do to earn the lunch, and y'all, if it is for, for, for me, it is for free. Is that right? If it is for free, it is for me. I said it wrong. I, I think that the neatest part about going up in your business is how much Mary Kay constantly gives you. You go to things and you never spend a dime and you walk out with Gucci handbags and jewelry and free meals and free hotels and, and new boots. I mean, it's amazing what kind of things you get. So if it is for free, it is for me. The luncheon is special because you're also rubbing shoulders with the winners. Nothing will change your world and your family's world more than the people that you start associating with that are at a higher level. And can, being at career conference will do that. So that's in March. I wanted to make sure. Now, I also wanted to pull up, Joe, thank you for the recognition on my sales. Look what I had on my door. Sales goal, 4,000 by 1231. Um, Joanna asked me earlier, how much did I sell? And I went back. And uh, mine is all the giveaways, okay? So I had more leave my shelf, but I did some giveaways based on certain levels that they ordered. Um, I actually broke 5,000. And so I hadn't done that in a couple years, and that's exciting if you don't write down your goal, if you're not repeating your goal and writing it almost every day, which is what I did, then you're not even gonna hit it. Um, I should know that, but my parents have been here for two weeks and I really got distracted. So what do I wanna tell you now? By keeping that one thing for seven days, and then we're going to give you another thing that you can focus on next week, I guarantee you're going to be a star. I guarantee that you're going to move in your business. But in case you didn't pay attention, G um, December 31st is the halfway mark in our Mary Kay year, the halfway. And it's really quite simple how Mary Kay breaks things down. The National Court of Sales for your ring is $40,000 in retail sales. Now, some of you haven't even thought of this because you haven't hit your 600 in the month. And you might be thinking, oh, there's no way. There's always a way, you guys. There's always a person who comes in and does it in two months, three months, five days. I mean, it's amazing, the story. <laughs> so I want you to know that when you are free, <coughs> free, you're like starting over. You can be fabulously excited about hitting and having a win. So how can you have a win? Well, let me tell you the national court for that big diamond ring. And just so you know, there is also the sharing. Okay. And then um, all of these things, we, we, we can find them under Mary Kay and contests, but there's also half of that is what we call the princess court. So in case you didn't realize, when you are, sorry, this is it, the princess court is 20, half, 20,000 in sales. This is the jewelry. It's so pretty. And that is for the sales, but also half of the sharing or recruiting, which would be 12 recruits versus 24 qualified recruits. Now, Joanna and I have our own court, which is half of the princess. So it goes 40,000 for sales for national, 20,000 for princess, and then 10 for your director. And for the court of sh uh, sharing, it's 24 qualified, then the princess court is 12 qualified, and then your director courts generally are six qualified. So I hope that you will take the next 24 hours. If you have not hit your 225, I just did some numbers. You could sell seven revealing peels or the biocellulose mask, mask, both are 70. You could sell seven of those and you've sold 450. Or you can sell nine day or night creams from the
payer skincare line and you have just sold $450. Now I recommend if you're going to do something like that to hit a goal and have a win so that you can be consistent as we finish this month, but start 2020, I give a product away. I don't do discounts. Give something that'll help your customer go deeper and hint, hint, Maybe the cream eyeshadow might be a, a good product to give us a bonus if they are purchasing that amount of money. Um, but you can do what you want. That's an idea. There's tons more. Again, stay connected to us. There's nothing more powerful than changing your state, getting your mind right, mm -hmm. and being somebody that's not just doing well said, but well done. Awesome. That is so awesome. You guys, I know that you guys want to go back and listen to this again and watch it again. She is just so brilliant. I love listening to her. <clears throat> but one of the things that she talked about was the luncheon at Career Conference. Now, some of y'all might be going, what's Career Conference? So Career Conference, um, is all, they're all listed under events on Mary Kay and Touch, but it's like a mini seminar. And it's always in March, beginning of April. We can look at your dates. If you're unsure how to find that, I can help you find that or your director can help you find it. Um, it's very inexpensive. It starts on Friday afternoon. It ends Saturday afternoon. It is literally like less than 24 hours. Um, if you have to drive in you stay in a hotel and we share a room with two or three girlfriends and we make it a giant slumber party like Rena Tarbett used to say you don't need to sleep sleep is highly overrated you can sleep when you're dead but there is a luncheon that you qualify for and I want you guys to know that we have three people in our uh, superstars family that are already on target to qualify for that luncheon. First, the speed of the leaders, the speed of the gang, Andrea Zajac will be on target for that as of tonight. Qualified order and a new qualified awesome team member. Um, Sayonara Boucher is already on target. She did a qualified order in December and she has a new qualified team member. And Zulema Salceda is on target for the luncheon for career conference because she did a qualified order in December and has a new qualified team member. So all it is is December, January, February. Do a qualified order every month, okay? So December, you guys, you got one more day to make this happen. And have one qualified recruit, new team member, between December 1st and the end of February. So you've got three whole months to add that team member. Okay, and like I said, Andrea and Zulema and Sayonara have already done the team member. They're like, done. Now it's just a matter of hitting the sales. Now, I do want to explain something to you guys, and I know some of y'all are going to go, you're really explaining this? These courts, Andrea and mine's court, are, are the director's court of 10,000 retail, the princess court of 20,000 retail, the national court of 40,000 retail. It's retail retail okay it's not wholesale it's retail so this is your challenge you have two challenges this week and what happens when you do the challenge you earn mk bucks right turn in your voucher or text or email your director and say i did my challenge it's a two-part challenge so guess what you get 10 mk bucks for it one for each challenge okay Oh, Dee's Dee's sending us a message. Okay, so the first challenge Andrea already gave you. What is the one thing you're going to change? Think about it. And I want you to wake up tomorrow and go, today is the day I'm going to change it. I wrote something down immediately. Y'all are going to be like, really? I wrote every day, contact or call five new people and get one booking a day. Because I've been traveling the last 10 days. So I haven't been doing that. Well, guys, guess what? If you don't do something for 10 days, how hard is it to get back on the wagon and do it again? Right? Yeah. It's like if you go two weeks without going to the gym or, or, or 10 days without reading your Bible or, you know, two weeks without talking to your husband, whatever, you know, you're like, ah, oh, I forgot how to do it. It is so much easier to jump back in when you set it as a goal 
than if you just think about it and think about it and think about it. Just set as a goal and do it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So that's what I wrote down the minute she said that. And I didn't think about that earlier today when she was talking about it, when we were going over our itinerary and finalizing it. But right when she said that, I got inspired and I said, contact or call. That means face to face or call or somehow find five new people every day and get one booking a day for the next seven days. And I'm going to be posting on Facebook how I'm doing with that because accountability is so important so important and i want to be accountable to you guys and i want you to be accountable to each other because teamwork makes the dream work and like andrea said you know it's all about wd well done is better than well said i can tell y'all all day long how to make booking calls and how to get the booking and how to you know make sure secure the date and do cross confirmation but if i'm not doing it myself don't you think that might be a little hypocritical to ask you to do it and that's how I think. Speed of the leaders is speed of the gang. So think about what kind of team do you guys want to build? How do you want to lead others? How do you want to demonstrate to your family your discipline in your business? Because we can do this. This is not hard. You guys, I want to tell you something. Um, kind of, It's almost kind of a little sad. And then I want to touch on one more thing. And then we'll let you guys go. It's four minutes till. <clears throat> We just traveled all over Pennsylvania and New Jersey and New York and everything. And we, we met with a lot of different friends and different people and all. And the reoccurring theme with so many people that we were privileged to spend time with was how much they hate their job or how much debt they're in or how their finances are not where they want to be. And you know, a lot of guys talk to Andy about these kind of things, and I would never break a confidence, but they talk to Andy about it because they want to pick his brain. You know, do you invest? Do you buy property? Do you, you know, what do you do? And it's really interesting how many people who are not feeling good about their finances at all, and they're living, you know, stealing from Peter to pay Paul. And I just want to scream because I'm like, if you have a bill due and you don't have the money, go sell something. But most of these people are, well, all of them, none of them are, are in Mary Kay. The men are not and their wives or the significant others are not. And they're talking about how much they hate their jobs and how they can't wait to get out of their jobs. I will tell you in one personal thing, because, um, you know, it's, it's true. We have a really, really close family member who is due to retire in two years. This person has been working for the same company since she graduated from college. So, so they will actually be retiring 10 years, I mean, like at 55, not 65. This person is literally has a jar with marbles in it. And each marble represents another month before this person can quit their job. And retire and every month this person takes a marble out and throws it in the trash you guys that is not living that is not living a dream Joan's laughing going yeah it sounds like me I'm telling you work your business the way you work other things the way you are disciplined with your kids the way you're disciplined with your family the way you're disciplined with your job put in the time and the effort into your business, treat it like a business, get up, get dressed, get going, get serious, be focused, free and fabulous, be focused on what you can do, be free from the past, go into this new year, knowing what you know, but only pulling from it the good. Because I can tell you guys, it would be really easy for someone like me, who has been building her Mary Kay business for 28 years, who stays with a company for 28 years, for 28 years to start getting cynical and say, oh, people are going to cancel. Oh, people are going to, they're not going to do what they're going to say to do. Oh, I'm going to have consultants quit. I'm going to, well, you know what? That's not my choice. That's their choice. I choose to build my business. I choose to move forward. I choose success. I choose to be focused, free, 
and fabulous. Yes, Andrea. It's just fun. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, when you don't quit, God blesses you. And when you have somebody like Consuelo, who find you on the internet because you're a star consultant and then you get to go together and have coffee you're like oh, i love meeting new women and being blessed she told me about two or three new apps that i never heard of you guys it's so much fun to have a new friend when you focus on that getting up and doing your your habit oh my god that's easy focus yeah. on your vision be free fabulous and focused okay now i want to tell y'all real quick something funny WD-40, their, their plant, whatever, is in Andrea's hometown, but I want to tell you something. Do you know why it's called WD-40? Does anybody know? Because it was the 40th formula that finally worked. Could have been WD-39. Think about it. How many times do you make two or three calls or you talk to two or three people and you get a no or you get a, well, I'll let you know, and you quit? What if the WD-40 people had quit at 20 or 25 or 31? Be a WD-40 girl, okay? The other thing is, Andrea was talking about the three different courts. If you will go on joannashipe.com under resources, look for something called the big three. The big three. I think it's also on our Facebook page, but you know what? I will post it as soon as we get off. The big three. And the big three is national court, princess court, which is our area court, and then the unit courts. Okay? And I would love to see you guys break it down. So your first challenge for, for 5MK bucks that you're going to do this week is you're going to figure out what's the one thing you're going to change, tweak, and do for the next seven days, even New Year's Day. You are going to do, huh? And yeah. post it. Yeah, and post it for seven days. And then post it. You can post it every day or you can post it at the end for seven days. The second one is look at the big three chart. Look at the unit courts. Look at the Go Give Princess courts. And look at the national courts. And I want you to really think about it. And even if you have zero towards any of these courts right now, break it down and figure out what you can choose, not what you need to do, what you can choose to do from January to June to achieve those courts. I would shoot for at least national court. If you, if you don't hit it, you'll hit princess court. But it is completely up to you. And you guys, I wanna tell you, Right now, this time of year, I'm not on target for the national courts. That has not been my focus this year. I've done it a lot. <laughs> I've gone in a different direction this year and building my unit and working with my unit and working on all these programs. But you know what? You guys don't have to do all that. We are doing the programs for you. And guess what? I'm going to give you a little hint about what we're kicking off next week. When you have someone new join your team, they will be able to go to my website and go to resources and go to the new consultant packet. And every week in our Zoom 2020 vision meetings, we're going to have a section of training that's going to be a separate recording that will be attached to the different parts of the new consultant packet. So let's say you bring someone in new and they are going through the new consultant packet, you can show them the YouTube video that they can actually watch that will explain that part of the packet to them. It's gonna be a visual, auditory, and a reading introduction to Mary Kay. And guess what you guys are gonna to get to do starting a week from today? You get to be brand new in Mary Kay. What? What? Yes. You get to be brand new in Mary Kay. And we are going to take you step by step into being a brand new consultant, building your business, achieving courts, earning your car, being in your red jacket, being a director, whatever you choose to do in your business. If you follow the formula, if you choose to do the weekly homework, if you choose to do the weekly challenge, and we are going to be totally focused on every day's work and free from our past 
and we are going to be totally fabulous as we have fun in our business. Are you excited about what we're kicking off a week from tonight? And the auction and the star bars. Okay, so let's get it done, girls. This is important. Now, I'm going to post on Facebook the video I wanted you guys to watch tonight. So you can go on and watch it, and then I'll have the recording posted probably within the next hour, okay? Any questions? Any questions at all? You have two challenges. Who can tell me what one of the challenges is? Okay, Amy, what's one of the challenges? Pick the one thing for seven days that you're going to work on for your business to improve. And do what with it? And do what with it? And do it. How, how, no, how are we going to know? How are we going to know? Post it on, on the Facebook page. Post it on the Superstars Facebook page. Okay, who knows what the second challenge is? How are you guys? Look at the three, the, 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 uh, big three courts. And okay. Decide, choose the one you are going to focus on. Okay, Joan? You were going to say it too, so you tell us too. What's the second challenge? Oh, um, she said, Alice said it. Uh, just uh, look at the three courts and choose what you're going to focus on, whether it's sales, recruiting, um, um, national uh, queen or, or princess or... All of it. Uh, yeah, all of it or unit. Break it down. Break it down, break it down, break it down. What's the one thing you're going to do for the next seven days that's different? Stretching and post it on Facebook. And the second one is take the big three, the big three courts, break it down, and choose where you're going to land on June 30th. And send it to your director so that we know how to support you. Okay? Break it down, break it down, break it down. And be open to us saying, okay, can I ask you some questions? Okay? And remember, a week from today, you're all brand new in Mary Kay, and we are going to celebrate that. So excited. Okay, who wants to earn a prize tonight? Nobody? Okay, I, I, I only saw four hands. Who wants to earn a prize tonight? Okay, so this is what I have right now. I have... On the call, Jules, Alice, Keely, Consuelo, D. Oh, my light went out. That's, that's my timer. <clears throat> D. Deborah, Joan, Amy, Christine, Elisa, Melissa, Zulema, and Arlene. Every one of you get an extra 10 MK bucks because we were going to do drawings tonight. And I thought, you know what? Let me just give them extra bucks. So all you guys get extra MK bucks. We're sticking it out hearing all about it, and that is your extra bonus for tonight. Y'all excited? Yay! Okay, on three, I'm going to unmute everybody. On three, we're all going to say bye, y'all, in your deepest, most southernest, most rednecky accent you can possibly come up with. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.